Now, why do they need so many? Because every week they read from another, I believe they read from another Torah, another scroll. Or they take out a different scroll when, when they have somebody, usually uh, 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 an, an elderly uh, person, somebody who is of high ranking in the community, carry the Torah, or if it's a bar or bat mitzvah, they carry the Torah. It's a big honor. But you know, I bet you didn't know that if you drop the Torah, and if you happen to be in attendance, the rule was that you had a fast for 40 days and 40 nights. You die. Well, you're, I would assume you're allowed water and bread, okay, some sort of sustenance. But, you know, you were supposed to fast. That's the way we could lose weight. Fast. Go on a water and bread diet. You know, they say uh, if you don't eat for 21 days, everything shuts down. Uh, yes, I've heard that. The organs need, need water. They need some sort of food. They need uh, nutrients is what they need. Yeah. They need nutrients. Uh, that's why, you know, when you're in the hospital and if you're not allowed to have solid food, you know, they give you sugar water to keep your electrolytes up. Yep. That's all we need is more sugar. Well, okay. Uh, well, we pushed it to 45 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. And okay, wait a second. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I, there's nothing on there. Give, give me, me a, a minute. minute. Ah, give me a minute. Oh, okay. Give me a minute. At least somebody realizes we're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> we can always count on her. Thank you very much. She has become our favorite caller. Yeah. Matter of fact... Uh... Because she's got a cute laugh. She's got an electric laugh. Yep. Anyway, so uh, I think the, uh, the churches and just like uh, the churches, like just like what's his name, uh, all those billionaires, they're taking half of their wealth. Oh, uh, Buffett and Gates. Sure, because they know that they certainly, first of all, uh, Warren Buffett has children who are grown. Bill Gates has children who, well, right now they're probably in their 20s. I think they, you know, because they started this years ago. But he wants to leave them comfortable, but he wants to leave them with a sense of purpose, you know, to know that they, they have to work. Well, listen, if, if he has 10 billion and he gives away 5 billion, the kid's still got 5 billion between all of them. Not a big, not a big, not a big problem. That's very true. And if the church gave up half of their wealth to help feed the poor and... Uh, well, don't forget, right now the church is supporting two popes. Really? Well, they're supporting Benedict and uh, Francis. Well... You know, Pope Benedict wears the ruby red slippers because he hasn't given them up, but I think Pope Francis wears Skechers. Yeah, he doesn't want to wear those boots. No, I think he wears Skechers. Hello there. Hello. Okay, so I have a cute laugh, huh? Yes, you do. And you sound like you lost your voice over New Year's. No, I lost my voice today. Well, today? Some from from this damn cough, it's so annoying. It's getting ridiculous now. Is it in your chest? I think it is now because I'm finally coughing. When I'm coughing, I'm coughing up. Before I wasn't coughing anything. It was a dry cough. Um, <clears throat> but I get every now and then I get these coughing fits where I'm actually choking, but I'm coughing, I, I can feel it all breaking up. So this I might be the it. end of it, hopefully. 
Do you have um, a stethoscope at home? No, not really. I mean, if you want to consider children's play stethoscopes, but other than that, no. Because you could actually listen and hear the rumbling inside, and when you breathe, you know, you can, you can feel, you know, the, the, uh, the water, the congestion. Well, <clears throat> I'm actually taking, she has a to the point tomorrow, uh, so you just gave me an idea. I think I'm going to ask her doctor to check my chest. I think you should. Because I think I will. <laughs> Once, well, that's a good idea. Once, once it hits your chest, you know, you really got to be very careful. Yeah, I know. But I, I, like I said, I think it's, I, I think it's the end of it. Because, um, she, Samantha also had a very, very bad cough where we couldn't even give her anything because uh, the doctor said there was nothing to do. It was a drip that she had. Oh, so, <clears> that's nothing. What? Well, there's actually medicine you can you, you can take for a post nasal drip, usually before you go to sleep. You gotta make sure. Oh, I didn't know that. And it, it helps you while you sleep, so that you know you don't feel that drip that's gonna wake you up. What is it all I'll look so into like all that. Cause, like I said, it's getting annoying now. It's getting ridiculous. Um. And I just can't deal with it anymore. I was hoping to keep that in 2014, but it decided to come with me in 2015. Uh, Samantha sounds like she's having a lot of fun. What is she doing? <laughs> Believe it or not, she wants to go on the radio, and I told her no. So I'll say hello. So she was, come on the radio. She was chasing me around the apartment. How old is she? She's seven. Say, uh, put her on. Tell her we'll say hi to her. Tell him you're talking to Santa Claus. Felix is Santa Claus. Oh, no, I can't bring Santa Claus stuff. No, no, I can't. She, she asked me something last night, and um, I'm beginning to think now she doesn't believe in it anymore. No, 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 don't do that. But if she wants to say hello to her. Uh, see, um, right now, I think she's... She went back into the living room, so she must be playing. And this is, yeah. I, I'm giving her free time. This is the la her last weekend to stay up late because she goes back to school on Monday. So I'm letting her do whatever she wants. And <clears throat> I think tomorrow's going to be all about her. I told her after the doctor's appointment, I'm going to take her somewhere, spend the day with her, um, let her do whatever she wants. Because... That's it. Monday's back to the grind for her. She's got to go back to getting into a routine, her homework. Um, well, what are, what are you she also has a science, pro science project to do. I completely forgot about that. Oh, my goodness. Those last-minute science projects are terrible. She's the second grade? Well, she's actually yeah. she's going to be in a science fair at the end of this month. So they all, they got notices a couple of weeks ago about it, and I asked her what she wants to do, or, you know, what could she do, because they don't allow them to do certain things anymore. Like, you can't do a volcano that erupts, you can't, you can't do anything that's messy or anything that explodes. Well, that's because everybody used to do that volcano with uh, seltzer and baking right. soda or something, you know, baking powder. Yeah, they don't, they don't let you do that anymore. <laughs> so she said she wanted to do something with the planet. Okay. Well, what does it do? So other than that, you know. Mommy, I'm going to have to Um, so how is everybody new here? Well, it's good. We're all doing fine. We didn't do anything for the years. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> That's good. Did you do anything right, I'm going back to my hole. Hold on a second. What did you do for New Year's? Okay, I'm back. What did you do for New Year's? Um, I went to a house party 
I have a friend that I know since um, 13, 14, and um, uh, we just hung around, we ordered in, um, had some wine, champagne, when the book dropped, uh, sat up and watched the art couple because they had the art couple marathon. That's right, they did. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> and um, pretty much that was it. And then I couldn't fall asleep the whole night. I was up the whole entire night. Well, you know, we're taking confessions. TV. We're taking confessions today. <laughs> but it doesn't sound like you did anything wrong either on New Year's Eve. We're all boring. No. No, no. I mean, I love, I love being with, with my friend, the three friends from way back when. I mean, it's, we're more like family. Uh, we reminisce about the years before and, um, um, <clears throat> a, uh, my friend couldn't wait, or actually I couldn't wait for 2014 to end for him because he just uh, went through a divorce. Um, and it was really sudden. His, uh, his ex-wife just sprung it on him in March. She wanted a divorce after 22 years. Wow. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> they know each other for a long time, and they have two children. He did, two, he did. One... What? He didn't suspect anything? No, nobody did. She just, out of the clear blue, said, I want a divorce. And he wasn't going to fight it. And it was the fastest divorce i ever seen. I mean, she asked for the divorce in March. And I think in August or October, it was finalized. Well, if it's uncontested and if they agree on how they're going to split whatever it is they amassed as a couple, you know, if you're splitting everything down the middle, there's really nothing to complain about. I mean, if they were married 22 years, they must have children that are late teens, maybe 20, you know. They have, they have a son that just turned 20 and another one that just turned 11. 11? Wow. Yeah. Some late fun, huh? So who? Uh, yeah. Who's getting custody of the uh, eleven-year-old? Is she probably? They they share him. I mean, the good thing is they uh, they left at, at good terms. I mean, everything was split down the line, as you said. Um, he moved out of the house and he bought a condo right around the corner. I mean, basically, when you walk out of his house you see his old house. Well, you know, it's, so, very, it's, it, it's, very, it's very rare that, uh, you know, unless you were able to save a lot of money, you know, uh, if she's keeping the house, which obviously she is, you know, I mean, look, he still has a share of the house if and when it's sold, you know, but the bottom No, line, she, she bought him out. She bought him out, right, so she gave him whatever was due to him and that money he used to buy his to condo, buy the condo. Okay, and that makes he did, right and he wanted to stay close enough to where he was able to see his two kids so i mean his youngest is there all the time um he gets to every other weekend and every tuesday and thursday and pretty much after school, he goes there anyway. So, I mean, he's, he's got a good deal. I feel bad for him now. I mean, it, I mean it, being married for so many years, I mean, just to like all of a sudden say, I want a divorce, I mean, it's unethical and uncanny. Um, now, my friend also has a lot of physical problems, and I think. She got to the point where she didn't want to she couldn't take, take care of him anymore physical. or be responsible. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. He, he didn't really tell me much about it. I see he's hurt. But the one thing that I told him right before the ball dropped, or even before, even before New